Good evening, everybody. Today is 10th of November. It's a Thursday, 2022. And uh, we were meaning to do an episode uh, on our strawberry vertical planter. So today I have just done uh, a quick maintenance and pruning of uh, the plants. And uh, I thought of giving you guys an update on how the plants are doing. Uh, blossoming stage, I think I already covered the blossoming stage. Now the fruiting is in full flow. As you can see, the berries are getting into better size. They're changing color. And these are different varieties. So you might see that some of them, as tiny as they look, this is uh, wild strawberry, which is really sweet, as compared with uh, Camrosa, which is a hybrid version that everybody grows all over the world. So. The reason of doing the pruning today was to ensure that uh, the aeration is uh, good with uh, all of these plants because when they're in fruiting stage they need uh, the need to be maintained really well uh, i was in uh, wellington for a couple of days rather four days for one of my seminars so i was totally out of touch with my garden so i came back today and I thought of doing uh, an emergency prune and thought of uh, sharing with you guys how beautiful the fruit is looking. And the way it is setting up, let me try and show you that the fruit is setting all over. If you could see, beautiful set of fruit hanging out. Vertical planter is absolutely amazing. and. Uh, the berries look absolutely beautiful. This one looks so inviting. And uh, this is absolutely ready to ripe as well. The plant is pumping lots and lots of fruit. Take a look. This is absolutely beautiful. This is again, the wild strawberry. And, uh, and somewhere in there, we have got uh, yellow alpine. Let me try and uh, figure out where it is. It has got a tiny set of blossom. There we go. That's the yellow alpine strawberry. As you can see, the, the blossom, the size of the blossom is quite tiny as compared with uh, the rest of uh, the plants that I have on the planter. Take a look at these. These are like uh, decent sized berries. But the alpine strawberry, it's going to be comparatively tinier. Uh, I'm growing this for the first time. So that's the first uh, attempt for growing uh, alpine strawberry. It could uh, could be good. I've heard good things about it. So you can see that uh, there is not an ounce of weed because vertical planter makes life so easy. And uh, you would see that uh, I've taken care of all the dead leaves and the aeration looks really good. This is beautiful. Make sure that when you're in the fruiting stage, you are giving uh, coffee grounds. I administer coffee grounds uh, every four weeks on these plants. And uh, giving them pot ash is also a good idea. So these were, I remember in the last video that I did, these were like picking up and they've pugged up a great deal. And they're pumping lots and lots of fruit. Take a look. I mean, the nature is amazing. I found some amazing shapes of the berries uh, today. Have a look at this one for a change. It's developing nice and slow. It looks more like a mulberry rather than a strawberry. But rest assured, uh, the fruit that is uh, developing is absolutely beautiful. Take a look. This looks absolutely beautiful. And I've always said that um, the vertical planter, as per my understanding, is the best thing after sliced bread. So this has been a productive evening. We have managed to clear all the weeds and everything. This is more like uh, a full-fledged view of the vertical planter. Let me try and walk away and show you how beautiful it looks. There we go. So you would see now the fruit hanging. There we go. Let me try and uh, zoom in a little bit. There we go. 
and you can see fruit on the far side and uh, I hope you guys whoever are doing their strawberries are having a good time as well also some people ask me about uh, when these plants would multiply how would you go about it so this uh, ladies and gentlemen is uh, the variety of the strawberry which I call Ventana it's really cool it's really nice and uh, it's throwing uh, a few runners here and here and also there's another runner that is coming out and it's beautifully sitting here all I need to do is uh, put a pouch a plastic pouch underneath fill with uh, potting mix or compost or uh, moss peat or peat moss rather and just uh, secure it and in about uh, five to ten days time you would have this plant ready to go into the patch so it's it's not no rocket science I mean these uh, these plants they they multiply a great deal if you don't want them to multiply you can just simply chop the runners off and uh, let the plant focus on uh, what it's doing which is fruiting like it is right now take a look the berries are looking absolutely beautiful this already is turning out to be an amazing year so I hope you like this episode that we have done so far to cover it. Uh, don't mind the size. Uh, these are like uh, 15 or 16 different kind of berries that I have put into the patch. So you would see all shapes and sizes. You would see berries of this size. And you would see berries on this side as well. And then you would see the wild berries which are like uh, comparatively smaller but they're absolutely chokingly sweet so I hope you like uh, what is going on on the vertical planter if you want to set up a vertical planter I did a few episodes last year in order to tell everybody how easy it is to set it up and uh, it's just pellets that I have used and you can see in between we have uh, fixed them onto the fence really easy it's contained medium as far as hydration is concerned that's the only downside which I don't mind you have to water this uh, planter really religiously otherwise you would have uh, serious issues with the production so apart from that uh, I think uh, everything else is good to go the summer is going really amazing and things are really looking good I mean this is this is what every gardener waits for the blossoming fruiting and finally when it comes to this stage the harvesting so I hope you liked the episode today and uh, give us your feedback let us know how you're doing with your berries uh, in your garden and if you have any questions drop them down in the comments we'll be more than happy to respond back let me get rid of this leaves yeah one last thing when you are uh, maintaining uh, your strawberries make sure that all leaves that are touching uh, the dirt you get rid of them it makes it easy for the plant to breathe and uh, to produce uh, more fruit as compared with when you leave it and let it do its own thing there we go I mean this is absolutely amazing so apart from that, uh, there's nothing more to it. And uh, it's quite easy to grow this fruit. This is uh, the third year that we are doing this uh, vertical planter convention. And it's looking really absolutely amazing. So on that note, we'll bid you goodbye. Wherever you are out there, stay safe. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening and night. Goodbye.